Oh, hey guys, today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to swap heads or switch heads. Oop, my bad. Uh, in Photoshop. Um. Alright, um, so you first, obviously, you gotta open up your pictures. So I'm gonna find mine. Uh, let's do him. And this guy. Alright. <clears throat> My bad. Alright, uh, sorry. So I'm gonna put his head on his body. And it'll look pretty funny. So I'm gonna zoom. These are just uh, pictures I found on Google. You search people. Uh, Alright, that's pretty good. Alright, so uh, I'm putting his head. Alright. So you're gonna take your lasso tool and you're gonna right click and do magnetic lasso. Well, I'm gonna be using it. Uh, so you're gonna do, you're gonna click and have it just form uh, to his head. And if you don't like it, double click and right click and then hit deselect. Just kinda curve it around. His head. And uh, the thing I've noticed about Photoshop is actually when it comes to like tracing like this, uh, it's pretty smart. Uh, it'll actually trace very good. Uh, okay, here we go. It's pretty much, pretty much traced. So you're gonna hit edit copy you can also do cut it doesn't matter you do copy and then uh edit go to your other picture edit paste whoa there it is okay here's what we're gonna do control t and uh, you're gonna resize it and drag it oh wait, what's this what just happened oh and then you just hit apply and then you could drag it and there you go. I mean, that's believable right there. I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, from here, hold on. Goes from this to that. And uh, it actually, if you look, right in here, it fits his chin very good. But if it doesn't, uh, normally in another picture, you're going to just have to uh, kind of work with the color. Just kind of work it in there. Uh, you can uh, do different cuts here to make it look normal. And around the edges here, you can just take like your eraser, just kind of erase. Uh, just kind of erase some of the red in here. Could sharpen down his hair. Can make him bald. But then don't forget, when you make them bald, the other picture comes. So then you can just make that his hair, and then you can just do this. Or uh, you could do, uh, crap, what is it? Uh, stamp. Uh, click. Oh, wait. Uh, alt. Uh, you click. Oh, wait. What am I doing? For this, you do, you right click. Wait, how do you do this? Alt click to define source point. Alt click. Oh wait. Come on. Oh, I'm doing control, my bad. You alt click and then drag. And then you like you can color it uh, around his head. Uh, well, that doesn't look right. <coughs> uh, but... Uh, just clear this out a little. And there you go. That's how you basically just swap heads in Photoshop. And I'm pretty proud of that myself. I mean, it goes from this guy. 
then this guy straight to this. So, I mean, that looks pretty cool. And uh, I'd say that looks pretty good for myself. And um, I've had Photoshop for two days, and look what you can do and how easy it is. Uh, it even looks like it's overlapping his head right here. So, I mean, that's cool. <laughs> um, uh, honest to God, this is my second time doing this right here. So, uh, it's cool, easy, easy way to swap heads. You can make it look more professional if you want. Uh, just have fun.